I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. Hi everyone, welcome to Rescue the Pressing Kids. Today we are looking at the Disobedient Prophet Part 1. Our scripture verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Enjoy our program. Nature testify of God. Yay! Hi boys and girls. Now last time we spoke about the zinnia flower. But this is another type of zinnia. Did you know that zinnias are annuals, scrubs, and subscrubs native to North America? Yes. There are all different types of zinnias and all different colors. And these zinnias are very beautiful. Now these zinnias can be grown very, very easily. All you need to do is when the flowers on top is dried, the seeds are located in the middle of the flowers. You just take it out and spread it and water it and watch it grow. Now, now it is very important for us to have a flowers garden in our yard <clears throat> now just looking at these beautiful flowers we can see the hand of god different colors different shapes different sides continue to admire this zinnia boys and girls Hi boys and girls, I am here again to tell you another story. Now we are looking at fate. So the name of this story is Fate in a Parent. Do you know what is fate? I do. I think you do. And although it is very common to hear persons say they, they cannot believe, I fear it is because they will not you know what faith in your father or your mother means a child a young child can have faith in a parent a little girl whose mother had always told her the truth and in whom she trusted went with her one day to a large town the child had been used to living in a quiet country and the bustle and the noise was alarming to her for she was not strong and her head ached and her limbs grew weary and they entered into the town a great crowd was gathered together to see some show in the street and lucy pressed her mother's hand for her heart beat and she was afraid do not be afraid, Lucy, said her mother. I will not take you into danger. You are quite safe. Keep my hand. Nothing will hurt you. And a child believed, and the child believed her mother and was happy. Well, this is fate in a mother whom she could see. And it would be harder to trust in whom she could not see. Clouds had been gathering for some time, and soon the rain fell, 
the mother looked at her little delicate girl and said lucy dear i dare not take you any further i must go for i have business to do elsewhere i must leave you in this shop do not go away from it and i will be back as soon as i can but my errand will take me some time the child looked into her mother's eyes and said you will not forget me i know and after a kiss and a blessing the mother left her under the care of the master of the shop and went out to to attend to her errands at first she was amused by seeing the gay ribbons measured and ladies coming to the to do their shopping but after a while she began to long to see her mother and to hope that she could come before dark for it was winter she had a bun to eat and was not hungry but she was tired a little girl older than herself now came into the shop and they began to talk lucy told her how she was waiting there for her mother and how glad she had been when she came perhaps she will forget you said the little girl i am sure she will not do that lucy said how can you be sure she she may you know she promised was the child's reply she never broke a promise yet another hour passed away and it seems like a day to a weary little one the gay customers meaning the happy customers had gone home and the shopmen were putting away the goods the gas was lighted and still the mother had not returned a woman came into the shop at this moment when whom Lucy knew. She lived near her father's house and seeing the little girl offered to take her home. No thank you, replied the child. Mother will come for me. I must wait. At length, the woman came, the mother came, and oh, what love was there in her kiss to the trusting patient child. The confidence of faith she had shown pleased her and when they were once more by their fireside at home and lucy was nestled in her bosom and her mother told her that this was a very kind of trust which god requires of his children to try no means to save themselves but according to his word to believe alone on the Lord Jesus for salvation and to trust his promise which says whosoever believes shall not perish but have everlasting life so boys and girls do not forget to trust your mother and your father but most importantly to trust your heavenly father okay Talking time with the Bishop Sisters. Hi everyone, welcome to Rescue the Persian Cooking Time. Today we are about to make Today we are about to make a smoothie. Well we in this country in Trinidad we call it a punch. In America they call it smoothie, but we call it punch. And here we have, I have my two daughters with me, Ananaya and Hadassa Bishop. We have here in this little bowl, we have pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, and flax seed. Over here we have brine, bailey, brine bailey for this container. And here we have peanut butter. Mangoes, bananas, <laughs> and ice cream mango. For those who don't know about it, ice cream mango is a very nice sweet mango. And we have some sugar, um, coconut sugar, and we have some 
coconut? Yeah. Milk. So we are about to make our Hot. punch or smoothie. And here we have some ice.
punch. She gets one. Watch out, she goes. Watch out, watch out. Watch Kings chapter 13. Now boys and girls, you are going to hear this story, the disobedient prophet, in two parts. Now today I am going to tell you part one. And behold, there came a man of God out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel. 
and Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord and said, O altar, altar, thou saint the Lord, behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, and upon thee, and upon thee shall he offer the priest of the most high places that burnt incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burned upon thee. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign which the Lord had spoken. Behold, the altar shall be rent, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And it came to pass, when King Jeroboam heard that saying of the man of God, which had cried against the altar in Bethel, that he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him. And when and his hand, sorry, which he put forth against him, dried up, so that he could not pull it in again to him the altar also was rent and the ashes poured out from the altar according to the sign which the man of god had given by the word of the lord and the king answered and said unto the man of god entreat now the face of the lord thy god and pray for me that my hand may be restored me again and the man of God besought the Lord, and the king's hand was restored him again, and became as it was before. And the king said unto the man of God, Come home with me, and refresh thyself, and I will give thee a reward. And the man of God said unto the king, If thou wilt give me half thine house, I will not go in with thee, neither will I eat bread or drink water in this place. For so it is was it charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way that thou camest. So he went another way, and returned not by the way that he came to Bethel. Now there dwell an old prophet in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. The words which he had spoken unto the king, them they told also to their father. And their father said unto them, What way went he? For his sons had seen that what way the man of God went and came which came from Judah and he said unto his son saddle me the ass so they saddled him the ass and rode and he rode thereon and when after them and he went after the man of God and found him sitting under an oak and he said unto him Art thou the man of God that camest from Judah? And he say, I am he. Now, boys and girls, see you next time. I hope to see you that you can hear the balance of this story. I've got peace like a river. Like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul.